Okay, now that we've had a look at the ink sampling form, let's go to the form or the uh, calculator where, where we will actually enter that information. Okay? This is an ink formula calculator, also in Excel. Now here we're going to enter the tear weight and uh, again it would be zero and that would be coming right from the sheet. So this you're doing now that things are calmed down and you're back at your desk or you're at a computer and you're looking at the form and you're filling in this information. And the first ads were 22.5 pounds. Rubine was 7.5 right so if we would leave it here we would know the ratios were 0.75 and 0.25 just as we said in the illustration and you see the total ink we have is 30 pounds now we go you see if it says if adjusting color go to next and we decided we wanted to adjust color so we come over here to the next one and the return weight was 30 and you recall we didn't add any warm and we didn't add any rubine but we did add reflex so we'll need to come over here and populate that reflex in order for this to work and then we'll come over here you see the reflex is there now and we added two pounds now that we've done that notice that it calculates our ratios for us our new ratios which also match the example and the, the math in the example that we did 0 0.703 0 0.234 and 0 0.063 the total of ink is 32 pounds now, this time we said we lost three pounds, so we're going to go back up here to the third section, and our return weight was 29 pounds. We didn't add any warm, we didn't add any rubine, we did add reflex, we added one pound, and our new ratios are 0 0.680, 0 0.227, and 0 0.094. You see how easy that was? All we had to do was to enter our information in this form very easily whatever we added we just documented and put samples there and we just did that and then when we had time we came to our little calculator and we entered those numbers very similarly to the way it was put in and it generates our ratios for us okay now that's cool this is the formula for the ink at this point now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to work off some used ink in the back and uh, see if we can't get rid of some, okay? But before we do that, we're going to come over here to our sample form and we're going to populate it with the ratios we just calculated because this form is going to serve as a history of this entire process. We'll know what we added, how much we added at each step of what colors, We'll know we'll have samples representing each step of the way, and we'll know the ratios for each step of the way. So before we get done, let's go ahead and uh, put in the uh, ratios that uh, that the calculator calculated for us. And I'm just going to do that real quickly. Yep, and uh, and then come over here. And the last step after this was. Where it was 0 0.680, 0 0.227, and 0 0.094. Okay? So, so now this form is complete. It went out there to help us blend. It has everything neatly documented, and it gets filed in a, an archive for the purpose of history in case we need to get back to this. And the next time we mix this ink, we can use it. Okay? Now let's see, now that we have these ratios over here of this formula and this formula comes back, let's see if we can't use it up uh, in some future ink, okay? Now this calculator serves two functions, okay? I'm calling it the ink work off calculator. We can enter the ID of a new blend, let's call it new ink, right? And as I, you saw in the last part of that 10-part uh, series I told you, we had warm red, we had rubine red, and we had reflex blue in this final new ink we wanted to mix, okay? 
and the ratios of that ink were 0 0.5, 0 0.3, and 0.2, okay? And then the target weight, the amount of ink we wanted to blend was 200 pounds, okay? Now this calculator instantly tells us what we need to blend. In order to calculate 200 pounds of this new ink with those ratios, we would need to blend 100 pounds of warm red, 60 pounds of rubin red, and 40 pounds of reflex blue, just like I said on the math on the whiteboard in that series. However, and if we didn't have any ink we wanted to use, that's what we would do. But, but what we're going to do now is we have some ink that we know is, com is uh, compatible with this ink because it also has those colors in it. So we're calling this the old ink, okay? And the first part of our sample example, we had 25 pounds of it. And the ratios for it were 0 0.68, 0 0.226, and 0 0.094, okay? Now watch, it instantly tells us that we can use all 25 pounds of this ink it's calling it the work off ink and all we need to do is add 83 pounds of warm red 54.35 pounds of rubin red and 37.65 pounds of reflex blue to make the 200 pounds that we're shooting for okay that's pretty cool we're using 25 pounds but as I said in the example let's try another scenario when we actually have a lot of this ink in the back we have 400 pounds there's no way we're gonna use all of it to, ge to generate just 200 pounds. So let's see what this calculator did for us now that we have 400 pounds of the old ink. Look at this. We're able to take 147 pounds of the work off, add no warm because the w now with that 147 pounds of that work off, all the warm requirement is satisfied. We add 26.765 pounds of rubin, 26.176 pounds of reflex blue, and we'll have mixed this 200 pounds of this new ink and gotten rid of 147 pounds of this old ink. Now that's cool, folks. So I hope you've enjoyed this. And uh, please don't hesitate to uh, post your questions below if you have any. And uh, uh, because there may be some questions, and I'm going to try to figure out how to put this online these calculators online for you guys to use them including the form and all that but I've got to figure out how to how to do that so just be patient and it'll happen thanks and take care